you know, this is weird, and they were right about a lot of things whenever all of this stuff hit with uh, COVID and stuff like that. I knew it was going to impact people, but impacting a certain type of people, you know, for the ones who have anxiety or depression or literally any of those things, you know, it's, it's a war zone at home too. I never in a million years would have considered myself being potentially depressed or anything else like that. And in the last week and a half, I guess it hit, man. Started sleeping a lot more. My, my, my sleeping hours hit at a really, in a really weird way. I would put myself to bed at about 7 o'clock p.m. I never used to go to bed that early. I'll wake up, or I'll go to sleep at 7. I'll wake up at midnight. And even like last night, I went to bed, woke up at midnight, and I've been up since midnight, and it's almost nine o'clock here, I think. But, uh, <clears throat> man, it hits, and, you know, and it's, it sucks, because I, can, I, I see that it's having an effect on me. Yeah, obviously, with what I do work-wise, I work in the film industry. Dude, it virtually shut us completely down. It shut, it shut a lot it shut everything down, you know, and I'm not just saying it for the film industry, I'm saying for a lot of people. And uh, finally got a little taste of it, man. Got a, a little little taste of depression and it's, it would, it's almost like it's easy to pick up drinking again because I, I was really big into drinking when I was growing up and I know that's the one thing, like if you drink for a few days and you stop, you get hit with all these really weird feelings. You know what I'm talking about. Um, it's just the negative effect that I guess the alcohol has on your body. This is me trying to combat that with not drinking and still being isolated from people that, dude, this is tough. It really is tough. And I guess literally the only way that I've been able to get through this is doing you know, some live streams and doing some of these videos, but <clears throat> to everyone else out there dealing with this, you are more than welcome to inbox me or do whatever you need to do because this is a different beast and you have the legitimate right to be upset with it because no one was really expecting this to happen. What can you do in the middle of this while you have to sit at home and you literally can't do anything else? You know? I, I don't want to have to go get... Uh, I, I don't know. This is my part one of isolated quarantine. Because I've, I've already been quarantined for like the last month when I was in LA. And then I moved away from there to be with family till it blows over. And long and behold, it just took over the entire world and shut everything down. So I've got another week of being in isolation or quarantine and I would I would have been doing it for almost a month and a half. I can feel it taking this mental toll on me and, emotion, and, and emotionally. You know what I mean? I, I got up and I watched the sunrise for the first time in a long time this morning. And I just realized how closed off all of this stuff has made me. And I call it the Joker effect, man, because it, it messes with you a little bit up here. I say a little bit, it messes with you a lot up there, period. So to everyone else out there who's experiencing anxiety and depression over all of this, you are not alone, my friend. Uh, keep your eye out for part two. Thank you.